everybody, how are you? How is everything in your world? I hope good, guys. It's time for another episode of Lyrics Explain. Now, that's where I break down the lyrics of your favorite songs so you can enjoy them even more. And we're going to go to the country charts once again. And it's a song that's been out for a bit right now with almost 27 million views on YouTube. It's going to be Kane Brown, Good As You. Now, this song is on his uh, RCA Records uh, Nashville label. And it is a really interesting uh, song, just to, uh, just to uh, tell you, it was written by Kane Brown as well as Blake, Anthony Carter, Taylor Phillips, Will Weatherly, and Brock Berryhill. Let's jump right into it, and I'm going to explain this really interesting double-layer approach that is going on in this song that if you if you didn't know you would maybe never guess so let's look at it this is good as you see the way you're taking care of your mama the way you're taking care of me the way you light up any room girl you're what this world should be tomorrow tonight the rest of my life i want to be the man you want me to be so starting right now girl tell me everything you need okay Let's go into the chorus and then we'll come back. I just want to wake up every day here in this bed and never leave I love you left said, left unsaid. It might take a hundred lifetimes to do, but baby, I just want to be as good as you. So what is happening here? So this is really interesting. So Kane Brown, of course, is from the rural south. He's from uh, northwest Georgia, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, the areas at various times and is married of course to one of the most beautiful women in country music Caitlin J they got married in 2018 so they're both accomplished they're both uh, successful people and they both love to play angry birds now here's the thing she's really 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 good at it okay and beats him every time they play Angry Birds. So, so you know, they're on the road, they're going to all these country music shows, they get on the iPad, they play the Angry Birds. And if you've ever had somebody close to you that you love, that either as a partner or just as a familial love, a brother, sister, that is, beats you every time in the same game, after a while, you start to cock, uh, concoct uh, new strategies, okay? So what he's doing here is very interesting. He's really expressing his love for her, which is true on itself, but he's also setting her up to, to make her own mistakes, right? In the Angry Birds game. So that's why he is expressing his love so clearly, so emphatically. I just want to wake every, every day here in this bed and never leave I love you left unsaid. It might take a hundred lifetimes to do. See, you don't get to the level in country music or any music or anywhere without a certain amount of competitiveness in your soul. And so, and so he's saying it might take a hundred lifetimes to beat her at Angry Birds, but he's committed to his strategy. Because he says it right there in black and white. But baby, I just want to be as good as you. Well, that's going to be tough because Caitlin J is one of the best Angry Birds players ever. So let's get, let's go on. Girl, you're more than just a service. Yeah, you got that heart of gold. So when it comes to loving you, baby, nah, it'll never get old. Tomorrow, tonight, the rest of my life. <laughs> this is a guy, this is a guy that is going to continue with his strategy until he beats her at least once. You just want to be, that's the thing. It's, it's not that you don't think that they're, you acknowledge, he's acknowledging that she's better than him. But the thing is, you want to win one game, and you don't want him to throw the game. That'd be worse. That'd be worse. So it's tricky, because if she picks up that he's setting her up to make a mental mistake, I mean, the, the way it could backfire is she could throw the game. In other words, just hand it to him to make him feel better, and which will make it much, much worse. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so he has to act like it's not anything to do with the game. Uh, because in, in, in the, the brilliance of the strategy is that it's true. He does love her. <laughs> he, he also really wants to beat her at angry games, at, at angry birds. So, so he, he he's just adding a little a little icing on the cake, just a little, to make her so comfortable that she makes a mental mistake. Right? She beats herself. Now you say, well, that's then he didn't win. Yeah, no, he did. He did <laughs> because any of any sport, any competition, a lot of it is the mental strategy. A lot. I mean, in fact, you could say at the level that these guys play, which is at the very tippy top of the skill level, it's maybe all mental game. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, so tomorrow tonight, the rest of my life, I want to be the man you want me to be. So starting right now, girl, tell me everything you need. Now he now let's see now he's getting a little close. He's getting a little t close to where she's gonna figure it out. Tell me everything you need, right? You know, she might be saying, wait a second, right? You gotta be careful. But it's a brilliant strategy. And uh, the song repeat this course is repeated and the song goes on. A brilliant strategy uh, <laughs> by Kane Brown. Uh, and of course he loves her. It's not, uh, it's just a fun, uh, fun competition they have on, usually on the road when they break out the iPad and they start playing Angry Birds. But it's a beautiful lyric. Uh, the lyrics are beautifully written and show a brilliant strategy and, and such subtle genius that, that you gotta love it. That's Good As You by Kane Brown.